Hi, I'm Holly McPeak of EliteAthletesTV.com and I'm here with some beach volleyball training tips for you today. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and you'll get all my future training tips. Today I want to talk about when you're stuck by yourself and there's nobody else to train with. I recommend, if you can, get a bag of balls. And one thing that you can control that's such an important part of the game is serving. I toss low in front of my right shoulder and very little spin on the ball. That's the goal. Serving is all about you. It's not reactive. You're in control. You toss the ball. You control everything except for the wind. There's some factors. But it's something you can do by yourself and I recommend doing it all by yourself as many times as you can. Getting those reps. Solid and you want it flat. You want it moving in the wind. That was nice. Better, right down the middle, that's an ace. Serving into the wind, serving with the wind at your back. Things that you can do outside. Yes, you have to be on a beach or on the grass in a park, somewhere like that, just to feel the elements and have a net. But it's something that you can do by yourself that you can control, and it's such an important part of the game. Face where you want to serve, boom, right at that location. Make that passer move. One more ball. Good pop right to the corner. You don't need a partner to train it, and I highly recommend you do that. I feel like it's an, over, um, an overlooked skill that people need to be great at because it sets up your defense. It scores points for you. It does so many great things. So focus on your serve. And then if you have a partner, have them serve at you, and you get to work on your serve receive and vice versa. Ball. Good. Always straight arms too. No bend in the arm. Wherever This is what you call your platform. Wherever the platform goes is where the ball is going to go. How can you make it tough for them to pass and, and how can you react? And how can you pass that tough serve? Serve receive is one of the most important parts of beach volleyball. It sets up everything. So you want to be able to pass, moving your feet, getting your platform behind the ball. A super short serve in how Audrey's going to have to run and get the ball. She's going to have to notice that the ball is going to drop short. Super quick feet and get there. Ball. Go. Good. And then she gets there and lifts it. Do it again. One more time. Ball. Going short. Get there. And lift. Good. One of the things that I teach in passing is to track the ball with your belly button. Because if you track the ball with your belly button instead of your platform, the ball's going to be within reach. If, if it takes a dive because of the wind, that's another thing, but you can follow it because it's close to your belly button and within reach. So I see the serve, track it with my feet, quick feet, get my belly button on the ball, and then if it moves because of the wind, I'm able to react. Now I'm going to serve it deep over her head. She's going to back up, pass the ball forward. Ball. Good. Nice long touch. One more. Ball. Good. You see she's not reaching. It's all here. She's staying behind the ball and passing it forward. The other thing is don't chase the ball past your body. You want to keep it all out in front of you. So in order to do that, you need to move your feet. So my tips for today, lots of serving on your own. You don't need a partner for that. And some serve receive, some passing moving your feet, getting some repetitions. One on the good side with the wind blowing into your face and one and some on the bad side where the wind's at your back and the ball is dropping because you really have to move your feet. Those are my beach volleyball training tips for today. EliteAthletesTV.com. I'm Holly McPeak. Thumbs up and subscribe and you can see the rest of my beach volleyball training tips. Thank you.